But it's good guys and girls of YouTube, it is me, Justin Omoe, here with another video for you guys and girls to learn up and improve yourself when it comes to music. So today I'm going to talk to you about acoustics as well as light in the same manner. This is like interference basically. Things such as reflection, notice how the light is reflecting on the screen and it is going back and showing you what I'm seeing. That is reflection. Then we have something called diffraction, which takes the light because it's in the way, as well as spreads it a different way. We also have something called refraction. It takes the visibility, the light, and change the way it looks. Normally, if you look into like the water and because of the reflection, something will look like different. Notice how the pencil here is lower in the cup where it is higher outside of the cup, if that makes sense. You see how it's like doing a little downwards thing? That's refraction. And last but not least, we have something called diffusion, which takes the light and spread it. So if I do this, notice how it spreads the light. It's brighter than my face because my face goes like this. It's not like a wall or something that spreads. So yes, just like how light works, sound does something the same. It's basically the same. So let's talk about reflection. Reflection, if you see the wall, it's something that will bounce and reflect away. Just like how a mirror works. So if I speak, because my voice is projecting like this, ah, uh, is going like that. It is not going straight forward because my mouth, ah, uh, it is going to bounce. It's going to project that way and then bounce off the walls. So let's say we have here the wall and my voice. Ah, uh, when it hits the wall, what's gonna happen is that it's going to reflect and go downwards. Same thing occurs if you say downwards and upwards. So if you're like, ah, uh, it's going to reflect and it's going to go upwards, but then there's something called refraction that kind of, um, well not kind of, but it does, disturb the sound. What's gonna happen is that it's gonna go up, but it is going to go up and curve away. Reason being is because there's things like air that interferes with it. I'm gonna talk about it after the next part. Reflection is good for instruments when it comes to sound holes in guitars because it amplifies, it reflects, such as if you say the word hot dog in a hallway, so let's say we have the hallway and you say hot dog it's gonna bounce all the way to the back of the uh hallway because reflection remember the hallways is like this and you say hot dog hot dog so it's going this way it's gonna bounce off the walls cross each other keep bouncing and crossing that's going to synthesize the sound to make it sound projected wider next up we have the fraction you might not hear me right now, or you could hear me, but if I put my hand above the microphone or something that captures, it probably will dampen out the sound unless I project myself loud enough for my voice to reflect off of this right here, as well as off of this to capture inside of that, the microphone I'm pointing to. So diffraction is basically a distraction. When it comes to speaking on the speakers down there, if it's showing, I'm not great. But yes, when it comes to the speakers, it's gonna play, but if there's a big body like me, cause I'm big, it's going to hit me, right? But it's going to spread in a different position. What's happening is when the sound hits me, the sounds are going to spread away. The best example I could show you is something like a corner. If there's a corner in your room and you're speaking to it, what's going to happen is that it's not going to be able to reflect. It's going to spread. So let's say we are going to speak to this corner of the wall. And yes, this is the wall. Notice how light is reflecting it. And because there is another wall here that is reflecting it back, it makes this thing look like I'm about to cross into heaven. That and the fact that the camera capture 
is like widened the eye of the camera is open so yes let's say we are going to speak at this wall what's gonna happen is that it's going to spread it's gonna spread same thing will happen with another corner like this one when we speak at that corner it's gonna spread next we have what I was talking about before refraction now refraction is something that changes the direction of a sound or the light to make it seem different. What's gonna happen is that because the air is going to, you know, be lighter than the sound, it's going to decay downwards. The reason being is because voice, the sound is heavy and it's, you know, transducing. What that is, is basically it's converting the sound, it's moving through a medium of space. A better example is something like if we are outside and it is really windy, you are trying to scream at somebody but you cannot hear or you know they cannot hear because you know the wind is blowing all your voice away so let's say you're like yo what's up yo I'm trying to speak and the wind is like blowing that way what's gonna happen is that when you speak yo what's up it's gonna blow away along with your you know the wind same thing could be applied if you are underwater because underwater, it is harder to speak and hear clearly. But for some water, you know, when it has a current, it's going to go under and move, you know, because the water has a flow. Refraction could happen in your room if you have something like a fan on, which I do not have on. If I could point it, see it's off. Ugh, stupid camera. But it could alter the way your sound sounds because the air is going to It could capture into your microphone as well. But when you're speaking, it could alter the way things sound. Last but not least, we have diffusion. Now diffusion, I think I speak about it when I said diffraction. But diffusion is when it changes the whole direction of the sound. So let's say we have guitar here. When I'm speaking, Something's happening. It is blocking the sound Because there's a sound hole is going in there and reflecting. So if I do this yo Yo It's gonna capture it, but let's say the back side of it where there's nothing yo 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 What's happening is that it's spreading that way and this way So you might be able to hear me a bit louder when I say yo Because it's that now, how does that work out since, you know, when you talk to a wall, it's going to have something like reflection. Thing is, along with the reflection, there's going to be diffusion in there as well. So let's say you are playing with the speakers and the speakers knock the wall. Because the sound is in an angular way, it's going to, you know, hit back. But along with hitting back at the wall, right, there are sounds that's going to be too low to, you know, to spread those are mainly like rays instead of waves basically waves is something like from zero Hertz or at least yes yeah, from zero Hertz to like 400 Hertz while rays are something in a higher like 1k to 6k but the thing is along with the reflection there's something that's diffusing the sound for this instance it is the wall because the wall is a flat sound so with the flat sound it's going to hit and some sounds are going to spread. Like I said with this wall back with diffraction, distraction, diffraction, we also have the spread is going to spread. Just like how this light is spreading as well as hitting the wall. So if I show you here, notice how right here the light is bright. But if we go over there, notice how the light gets darker. That is known as diffusion. That's why defusion in Yu-Gi-Oh! is when you defuse the po uh, I was about to say Pokemon, the Yu-Gi-Oh! monsters. It is the same reason why that wall over there is dark as well and has its light features. Because what is happening is that even though it is reflecting, it is also spreading. The way to prevent that is with a diffuser, which is a rectangular um, panel and it has something like this. So if we take our attention here, uh, exclude the dust, but it's gonna have shapes like this, going downwards, and then there's gonna be some that's going upwards. 
So if you have OCD, you know, it's something to be afraid of. What's happening in the diffuser is that it is trapping the sounds instead of letting the sound spread. Because with diffusing, it's also something that affects your music when it comes to recording or playback. So yes, hopefully this video helps you guys and girls understand more about sound. Know that it is not just something that goes through. That, uh, oh, I almost forgot one of the main things. Absorption. Now notice how this is something spongy. This is something that will capture sound. And in, in terms of light, it would be something like the dirt is going to capture the light and brighten up. It's going to, you know, have its view. So what absorption does is actually sometimes help you, but it can also mess with you in a few ways as well. Let's say you want a natural sound, but there's this thing in the way that's causing my sound to not have a nice presence. You could hear me, but the thing is, it's not getting a nice feeling because the sound is being absorbed by this little spongebob thing. But that's all right in some cases because there's some microphones that does come with something called the isolation shield, which is something that goes in a curved way. I'm sure you understand why it's curved. The shape is curved because remember diffusion, if we speak, it won't be easily captured. But when it's curved, it speaks, but it spreads in a curved way, in a parabolic way, if you understand that. Parabolic is, a um, you know kind of capturing round like a U shape so yes that helps with capturing as well as canceling so yes that is it that is what reflection diffraction refraction diffusion distraction absorption uh, you know all that different kind of shins Omega Shinron that is what it all is acoustic interferences it helps you as well as uh, interferes with your work when it comes to recording as well as playback and such so hopefully you guys and girls learned something from this video the reason I'm making this video of course is to help you guys and girls when it comes to your artistry as well as something I'm gonna make probably tomorrow if I could uh, speaking about how to set your studio up what's the best way to set your music and such as well as your microphone if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it the thumbs up and if you really want to learn a lot more yo yo hit the subscribe button my name is Justin Omoe thank you all for watching comment if you got a question or whatever comment if you like it and yep peace